on Facebook somebody asked me to do um, eyeshadows for beginners. Um, I get a lot of people who tell me I can't wear eyeshadow or I, you know, I don't know how to use so many colours together. And I remember when I used to um, first try to wear eyeshadows, I used to pick the wrong colour. I used to pick um, colours which were really, really deep and try and make them work. And I used to just touch into the shadows and get so much colour, didn't know how to blend them. The advice I can give you is to use a really soft brush to start off with. If you use a stiffer brush, you're going to get much more colour. And start working with light colours and choose two colours um, to begin with. A lot of people get shocked by colour up here on the brow bone and that can be quite strong. I remember being at a Givenchy counter once and them doing colour up here on me and me thinking I can't go out looking like this and, and when I look back it was just light soft brown so um, go for some light colours and, and a two colour combination um, or try and get if you don't have already that is um, an eyeshadow duo or trio where the colours co are already set to complement each other. Um, don't use any primer or base to start off with because that's going to make your colour pop. But what I'm going to use to start off with is this peachy gold colour which is called Straw Harvest. It's by MAC but it's a limited edition. But you can get all sorts of variations of a peachy strawberry gold. And pop that on the inner corner of your eyes. This here is your eyelid. And where it creases in there, that's the crease itself. So um, only go up to the crease and not above that. and start with just a tap of colour, you can always build up if you need it. And I, when I started out I always used to like to pair one shimmer and one matte colour and just do two colours. I'm going to pair that with this um, beautiful pink colour, it's a satin colour so it's not quite matte it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but not too much. And apply that again just to the lid. If you're brave enough, take it a little bit over the crease, not too much. Um, raise your eyebrow so you can get right in there. And just go sort of a, br a brush's width across and bring it round. If not, don't worry, just keep it onto the eyelid only. If you can take it into the crease, it just adds a bit more definition. So you've got a very soft look that you can try. If you are even braver, um, it certainly is quite nice to have a little highlight in there. Just take a soft yellowy light pink colour. This is one from a Boots Trio. And I'm just applying that in there to highlight. You don't need to do anything more than that apart from mascara. So for me, a nice dramatic mascara. And if you can try and roll it up as close as possible to your lashes to the root of your lashes, you're going to give yourself almost um, a line of eyeline without even having to bother doing eyeliner. Try not to make a mess like I have. So you can see with one eye not done and one eye done, just a little, um, a little bit of colour can enhance the eye and give it a little bit more definition and um, you know if you want if you do desire to have some eyeshadow on but really do struggle with um, putting colors together anything goes you could team um, a light gold or a, a soft peachy color with a brown with a purple with a pink with a blue you can work with lots of colors so do try just don't go very deep a lot of my students make this mistake they go out they get a palette they come back and they're really vivid colors they're very um, shimmery they're very you know deep colors as well um, 
and my advice is to get a mixture of mattes and shimmery colours and to team the matte and shimmer together. If you don't have any eyeshadows and you're going shopping for eyeshadows, you know Boots number no. 7 have a great range of trios where all of their colours match. You can put one of the colours on the lid, the lighter colour, you can put the lighter colour in the arch and then put the darker colour in the crease and the medium colour just at the end. So, you know, I use mine that way. To get a little bit um, braver, you can start doing more dramatic things with your makeup. So I'm just taking a, taking a brown colour, putting that with a tapered brush and just putting that on this area here, which is above the crease, just under the brow bone. And can you see that that just deepens and makes it a bit more dramatic? I've hardly put on a lot of colour, but you can see the difference that it makes. You just put it on, just on the outer corner. It also elongates the eyes, so the eye here looks a little bit rounder. I haven't done mascara yet, but it looks rounder here. And here it looks a bit more elongated. You try and etch out the shape, if that's what you want, an elongated eye. Then the, it draws the um, line of the eye that way too. If you use a stiffer brush using the same colours, you'll get much more dramatic eye. Bear that in mind too. If you want to go dramatic still, darker pink. And just work that into the inner corner of the lid, the, sorry, the outer corner of the lid. But not covering up all of the pink that you placed under that, which is a slightly lighter colour. can use some of that colour to go over the over the um, area above the crease. One thing I must mention is that when you're doing your eyeshadow, a lot of people ask me where they should stop. Now, it really does depend on your own eye, but as a rule of thumb, I guess, you want to follow this line here. If you put your brush and then take it to the tip of your eye, of your eyebrow, and then you want to, so you want to follow this line here, and don't go past here. Um, you know, if some people have this eye that slightly comes down a little bit, so if you apply eyeshadow and it goes past that line, it can make you look sad. So, you know, try and use this as a guide um, if you're not sure and you're not used to wearing eyeshadow, which is your bottom lash line, and follow uh, follow the line up towards your the end of your eyebrow, and then don't go past that as a fail-safe method of applying eyeshadow. Also, if you've got um, lids which are not smooth, maybe perhaps because, um, you know, I don't know, I don't want to offend anybody, but, you know, if they're not quite as smooth, slight wrinkles, um, or you're a slightly older lady, then um, try and use light shades um, which complement your skin tone and not too much shimmer, especially on the areas where it isn't, you know, too smooth because it will pick up the roughness of the skin there. Um, so, you know, do be careful and also don't bring it up too high either, especially if this area is hooded, meaning that it comes down over your lid, then you won't want to apply too much eyeshadow. Same again with puffy eyes. Puffy eyes can sometimes, you know, if you're puffy some days and not other days, then it can affect the skin texture. So um, you might want to think about having just a few more neutral shades. Um, cool tones can sometimes make the eye in this area look grey. So I like to go for yellowy light colours or um, pinky light colours. But, you know, I, I try and stay away from whites or... Um, greys obviously because uh, it will make greys look even more grey and um, you know a very shimmery colours in this area. So there's two options for you, one is a very soft look done with two, three colours if you're prepared to do that or one that is um, done with four colours and um, you know much more dramatic, still very light, still very wearable, very very wearable, it's so light um, but has a different effect totally 
obviously if you've got a lot of colour going on here and you're not used to it, keep your lips neutral and keep your cheeks neutral. Um, I hope you do try it, let me know how you get on. Um, you know, I'll, I don't know if you want me to put a link to your name, but if you do, I'll ask you. It'll be down there in the comments box. But thanks for the suggestion, and I'll see you soon. Bye.